Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more surviving the aftermath somewhere. We're just, we're surviving. We will survive. Don't ask me how, but we'll find a way. So let's continue exploring for a little bit. We finally found some science. Hey look, free clothes. I'll take those. Um, and we have some uh, garage, so we should be able to start repairing cars pretty soon, which I'm excited about. I do want to find out how that's going to work. More antibiotics. Good lord, they're everywhere. Um, I want to get the fuel, because it sounds like we're going to be having cars pretty soon, and I want to be able to use this effectively. You gather up this last bit of science. Just try not to blow up this time. Did you blow up? Yep, she blew up. Okay. It's a 33% chance both times, and she failed. Right, okay. Well, we have 183 uh, science, and that actually is not enough to get literally anything. So we're just going to have to make do with this, but that's all right. So we do have a garage, and with that garage, we currently have a hatchback, which it says is repairing despite the fact that I do not have a specialist at home. This seems like a bug. It really does. Repairs and stores the vehicles can be used to assemble specialist teams into one car before sending them into the world map. Requires a specialist to do repairs. That is an absolute lie. The car is ready now. Okay. Well, there's my hatchback. We got it. If I want to get two people, two of my specialists back home, we apparently can use this to create a team and send them out together. Which is great. I wonder if they combine their stats or something, or if you actually can get them out of the car and spread out later. I have no idea. We should try building out an outpost depot. I want to find out how this works. Um, where do I want to place it, though? Uh, I don't really know. Um, I don't want to place it in potential farming areas. I want to leave room for another garage. So a garage is... Yay big. I'm just going to go ahead and pause you. And then an outpost... Now, the outpost doesn't require roads, interestingly enough. Huh. All right, well, let's go ahead and build that. I'd like to go ahead and see what is involved in those. Seems pretty helpful. More specialists out and about. Uh, let's have you explore a little bit. See what else is going on. More dangerous bandits. Okay. You gather up fuel. Got a lot more. Okay, didn't blow up. That's great. Uh, pretty low bar, honestly. Just don't blow up. Is this a volcano? It's totally a volcano. You know, I hope something really cool happens with this. Hey, look, more fuel. We should definitely go gather that, too. Uh, I hope something happens with the, the, the volcano. I think that sounds like fun. You know? World events. Lava starts spewing, destroying all nearby areas. It's cool, man. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, what else do we need right now? Um, honestly, in terms of materials, we're doing sort of okay. I do need to continue gathering up concrete. So we'll do some of that. Um, running a little bit lower on planks and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're starting to run out of materials here. I probably should just go ahead and have people crafting all the time. Because we now actually might be able to use that for um, trade goods and stuff. So why are they saying that they can't work? Production started. It's acting as if there's no place for them to go, no storage, but that's not true. The general storage can handle a heck of a lot more. I don't even know where all my clothes are located, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and assign a couple of doctors, make sure we train, uh, to heal that guy up quick. Um, gather up the last bit of clothing there. You head toward the fuel. You gather up more fuel. You, let's just do one more quick explore action up here. Find out what's going on. More antibiotics. That sucks. All right. We'll send you to go grab the car, probably. So, here's the thing about the garage, though. Um, I guess it's kind of a first-come, first-serve thing as far as which car is going to be repaired. I assume. Because you don't get to decide which one you're repairing. It just it didn't give me an option. Now, not all cars are the same. The hatchback can only have two people, but it's fast with 12 action points. The sedan... I think is kind of middle of the road, and the station wagon can has, have like four or six people or something like that, but it travels slower. I don't know what the exact numbers are, but I think that's how it works. Establish an outpost. So if I wanted to place one down... Okay, so you can place it wherever there's greenery. Um, there's a lot of potential for me to place one over here, for example. Kind of far away. But that seems like an okay spot. And I'll be able to gather up a lot of materials and just drop them off here. This guy doesn't even have to go all the way back home with this stuff. 
Seems pretty good. I don't know. Having a lot of outposts might be great. Let's go ahead and resume the construction of the garage. I mean, we got materials. We might as well. Uh, let's see. We only have one child left. I mean, at some point, if we don't have any children left, I guess we can just stop working the school. That'd be kind of cool. I like that idea. Or do I? Let's see. Still making lots of stuff. Another nuclear fallout? Gosh dang it. And here I was hoping that pretty soon we were going to be able to grow some potatoes. But apparently not. What's what's going on here? What are you working on? You guys get out of this. Get out of there. Go work on the farms. All right. We have no carriers, but that's fine. Uh, we are ready for harvest anyway in the fields. No carriers left. Somebody's infected. Gosh dang it. All right, we got time before the nuclear fallout's going to come and get me. Let's just go ahead and deal with the infection. Uh, you, gather up fuel. You can finish gathering up the clothes. And you can gather up the last bit of fuel here, too. Okay, still didn't blow up. You head to the car, I guess. And then the car, this one is a sedan, can head back home. Now, interestingly enough... I thought that they said that cars only have half action points while they uh, are unrepaired or in disrepair. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the sedan still travels at 12 uh, action points, effectively. Or something. Why is this irradiated person not just going in? You should. Oh, we don't actually have any... Okay, hang on. Let's go ahead and clear out some more farming space. There we go. Yeah, this irradiated person should be going and getting treated, but he's just like, you know what, I think I'm fine. He's one of them stubborn folks, right? Who's all like, eh, I don't need medicine. I know better. I don't like those people. They annoy me a little bit. I mean, I, I get it. I don't much care for medicine myself, personally. If I can avoid taking pills, I will. But that's just because I don't believe in pumping myself full of medicine unless I need it. Like, the body can naturally do some healing, right? Here we go once again with the garage automatically repairing without a specialist. And without a cost either, by the way. That just doesn't feel right. Um, do we want to take a risk with this? It feels really dangerous. Let's instead just go gather up some food. Let's go gather up the canned food instead. That's fine. Should be able to do that in just two, uh, two, act two turns. You gather this up. You are ready to ha probably head back to the car. But instead, I'll go ahead and do more exploration found science. It's dangerous science, but it's a lot of science. It's a nuclear power plant. Yes. So maybe we should send um, an actual scientist there instead. Let them do the job. I don't really know what the point is of the science. It's not like the scientists get extra research. Right? What do you want? 670. Yeah. Yeah, and you're, yeah, so I think all they do is just gather the science a little bit faster, which might, might, if you're lucky, save you one turn. One turn of action points. But I'll be honest, I don't feel particularly helpful. Alright, so more outposts are probably okay. Um, let's see if there's more. Like, these don't need anyone working with them, so... Like, we can place them far away, and it honestly doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's try building another... Let's just try building a faraway outpost. I have to cycle through all the screenshots again. Gosh dang it. Alright, so let's see. We should be harvesting. Uh, I have two carriers left currently. Nobody working in there. You're doing fine. We have a day before the nuclear fallout hits again. Um, let's go gather up the science and see what happens. Hopefully she doesn't die. You've already gathered up all the fuel. I might use Platy with another extra outpost. So maybe we'll set up an outpost over here. Hey, look. More fuel. Perfect. Uh, you gather up the last of the food. You keep heading home with another car. Um, I don't know if there's a point in having a lot of cars. I mean, unless you're going to have an absolute ton of specialists. Which I don't plan on. But maybe. Let's see. What are you currently gathering you're finishing up this pile. That's fine. Colonist wants to talk. They've seen something interesting. A looting local. A couple of your colonists have spotted some sort of a vehicle stuck in a crevasse. We've seen this before. Someone got injured. We got nothing this time. That sucks. Usually you get something. But today, no such luck. I'm surprised we are not producing tools very quickly. We've got two people capable of working on tools and supplies that should be very close by. 
And when can I upgrade my roads, by the way? I want to give them an upgrade. I want stone. I want better roads. I miss fish. Like, where's where's a freaking pond? If you live on a barren map, apparently you just don't get to do any fishing. Unless you can fish over here. Ah, no. The edge of the map doesn't count. Darn. That would have been nice. But there is fish over here. So, okay. I guess we technically have found another source of food. But only produces two food. Which, honestly, doesn't feel like it's worth the time. All right, so you head home, drop off the car. Well done. You can heal up a little bit. You gather the science. There's a lot to be had. Don't blow up. It's a nuclear power plant. You could literally die. All right, we got a lot more to go. Plenty of science. You go gather the fuel. You head home with your food, tools, and coats. And we can just drop this all off. And boom, it automatically gets deposited immediately. That's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, great. I'm going to have him sit here, and let's just see if he gets any health back from the outpost. I kind of feel like he won't, but that would be great. Maybe we can get fish over here, actually. Is that an option? Oh, yeah, totally. Well, I say that. Is it? There we go. Yeah, I mean, we can get fish. It's just a lot of meat. It probably is better just to grow some insects, if I'm honest. All right, well, we only have one carrier, so our outpost depot's not growing very fast, but that's fine. We're still just harvesting what corn we can before the next nuclear fallout. I'll probably swap uh, at least one of these farms over to potatoes. Potatoes take a much longer time to grow. Is one big downside, but they have a pretty good yield. And we already know we can set up some extra trade routes with that. So, yeah, we have to have this person working here. So, how are we doing in terms of trade? So... When is this going to be done? No, like, really, though, when is this going to be done? 16 out of 45. Are we letting the one person... That may be it. Maybe the fact that we have one person working here means that one person is gathering it and bringing it over to the trade, um, the trade center. And until they're done, they can't deliver anything. I guess it just takes time. Yeah, four at a time are out for delivery, is what I just saw there. So it's a slow, it's slow going. And the nuclear fallout arrived, and there goes the rest of my food. Well, it was nice in theory, wasn't it? Nuclear waste depleted. Oh, there's plenty more raining from the skies above, if you're interested. Might as well gather this stuff up. Uh, I have not seen the environmental station shutting down at night, so I think we are actually producing enough um, power that we're keeping this going all the time. All right, specialist. So did you heal? It does not look like it. So they do need to come home if they want to heal up. That's unfortunate, but okay. More iodine? Devastated high-rises? It's okay. You gather up this bit of fuel. There's a tiny bit left. You gather up the science. Please don't blow up and die. You blew up. But you didn't die, so you'll be alright. And then you are fully healed and ready to go somewhere else. What should I do with you? Head down over here, obviously. Keep these guys exploring on the four corners of the world. So with that extra science, what can we do? Disaster forecast, I don't think it's important. Centralized repairs, no. Remembrance and comfortable housing, meh. Biofuel, meh. Maybe we should go for things like alternative proteins for an insect farm or the protected crops for a greenhouse. Requires power, though. I do want to work toward things like industrial mining. That would be valuable. Remembrance is good, probably just to make people happy. This also gets me paved roads. This could be good. Um, hmm. Let's go for the junk recycling and the energy production. I think we're still okay in terms of food. We haven't got a high enough population that I feel like I'm at risk. But I would like to have other methods of generating power. So a large solar panel produces 16. So twice as much. And costs less than twice the uh, cost of a solar panel. Large turbines require maintenance, unfortunately. An old woman has appeared in front of the gate. No, literally appeared. Okay, creepy. You're surprised to see an old woman with face like a peanut. 
that's one, one heck of a description. And a bent body. Standing in front of the gate, nobody admits to seeing her arrive. The woman cackles. Interested in riddles? Answer this. I'm tall when I'm born, but short when I'm gone. What am I? A candle, obviously. The wide toothless smile appears, and she gives me iodine. Thank you, you old witch. I appreciate it. Okay, no, that's, that's great, actually. Thank you. Um, <laughs> smiodine during a nuclear fallout makes sense. It's almost as if she knew. All right, we can set up an outpost, and I want to set one up over here, probably. Um, this seems like a pretty good central location, so let's do one there. Okay, so Platy will be able to just drop things off pretty soon. So these outposts seem helpful. I mean, it definitely saves me some time. But again, since people are going to have to... Oh, we have no children left. Let's go ahead and take off at the school. Um, if people have to go home to heal, it kind of has limited value. But maybe cars are a good way to make up for that. I don't know. Let's gather up the last little bit of fuel there. Um, you are going to explore. Let's just see if there's anything over here. We find bandits who are guarding more fuel. Okay. Fuel, apparently, is in abundance now. Let's gather up some more. Oh, she's pretty hurt, and she's almost dead. Right. Um, she was at 62. Now she's down to 32. I'm going to assume that every time this blows up, she loses 30 health, which means she'll have two health left by the end of this turn, I'm hoping. So I'm hoping I didn't accidentally just kill her. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Um... You know what I could do is actually give this person a car, but I still think it's better to have cars for groups. People traveling in groups. Maybe that's not true, though. Yeah, it doesn't say that she's taken damage yet, but I, I'm pretty confident she has. Let's go to food and work on alternative proteins. I'd like to find out what's going to be involved in uh, harvesting some insects. So if we want to build that, we need an insect farm components. Mostly metal and concrete requires 12 energy. It's a bit. It's a fair bit. Um, this is actually pretty much perfect placement. Well, I say that. It's almost perfect placement. It kind of messes up some roads. A little. It's kind of a good, long, thin building. Uh, like up here, for example, makes sense. There we go. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do that. And then we'll try building some roads. I didn't leave space in between anything. So I guess we gotta do this. And then this. Sure. Okay. Seems fine. I wish there were a way to say, by the way, don't use the iodine tablets. Like, refuse to use the medicine so that I have extra sitting around for actual emergencies in the future. You know what I mean? I assume you know what I mean. So here, by the way, is the station wagon. Okay, so it is slower. Ten action points, but for four people. I mean, honestly, that seems fine. I guess it just depends on what you need. Whatever. A lot of people getting irradiated at the moment. We're trying to treat them as fast as we can. We're getting through it. We're getting through it. Uh, that's going to have to end sooner or later. So, um, let's go here. You're not dead. Gather the last science. Don't blow up. Don't do it. Dang it. Okay, now she's down to two health. <laughs> so now we send her back home, I think. Now I think we say, you know what? Maybe, maybe you need a break. Apparently you can only queue so many moves at a time. Fine, we'll go for this, okay? Let's just go ahead and cue those movements. You've done a great job. Now you need to head home, all right? Done a real good job. Um, are you actually holding on to anything? Yeah, you got plenty of fuel. You need to come home anyway. I'm not building an outpost down there right now. So let's see. You, um, let's go try to explore this region. Platy, we can drop stuff off, and you've got a lot. Or I can just keep exploring and be greedy, which I like doing. Hey, look, bandits, and they're guarding components, okay? You um, are going to explore over here. Good thing the bandits don't come and attack you, right? Like, that would be a problem. The bandits actually start roaming like the barbars in civilization. Yeah, that would be an issue, I admit. All right, so the insect farm is done. Select meat. We can grow mealworms or locusts, crickets. They grow fast, but they yield low or medium and medium. 
question. Has anybody requested, out of curiosity, any grubs? What is this, by the way? Wheat. Ooh, that would be worth growing. You'd be willing to trade me some science. Yeah, see, this is where just having lots of materials to trade would be very good. Still want sunflowers, so we can have a reliable source of um, oil in the future. Flax is okay. There's not a lot that I feel like I can easily trade off. I feel like food is the only thing I can like reliably trade away. I don't know. Can we fit another farm, by the way? Because I think it's time to start working toward that. Can I fit a large one? Can if I go right here. Or even right here. Perfect. Yeah, place another farm down. We can't use it right now, but you guys got nothing else to do. Let's just go ahead and build the darn thing. All right, I don't need those doctors. They can go and do what they're doing. Still waiting for that nuclear fallout to end. Someday. Oh, good. We got rid of some of the nuclear waste. Group of survivors arrive. Yes, pops. We got a child and three adults. Fine. That's okay. And Jin, a scout. You're okay at fighting. Only level two, but not great. You're really good at exploring, though, so you get tons of action points. Okay, I like that. Um, yeah, we're going to accept them. I mean, I... I know you're supposed to be able to say no because you don't want children, but let's be honest. We're not having any problems with food. We can afford to have children. I accept. The real question is, do I want to assign someone to work in the school to educate Shed Child? And I guess I will, but I don't feel like it's a very good use. Um, so I want to grow mealworms, I think. Let's go ahead and start planting those. That does require more energy, though. We have a specialist ready for action. So I'm curious, then. If I said that I want you to create a team with just Jin, she can get in the car, right? So there's the car. I'm going to send her down this away. Okay. And... No? What, what happened to my car? What do you want? Did I mess up? Because I thought I told her to take the car. Okay, well, apparently not. Um, and now we have moved a totally different car into the garage. I don't know where it went. My car disappeared. It evaporated. Okay, well, fine. At least the nuclear fallout is done. Uh, I'm going to swap you over for, let's say, some more corn. We need to assign some people to work in the farms. At least a couple of you. And there we go. Lots of food coming. All right, specialists. No, you left the car. Go back home. Hold the phone. I want a car. I'm going to wait for the sedan to be done because it still has a movement of 12. Stands just seem... Sorry, sedans just seem better than hatchbacks in every way. Same movement speed, but more capacity. At least that's how it seems. So I'm going to let this repair real quick. We'll try this again and create a team. With Jin, create team. Car. Go here. There we go. This time it worked. I'm not sure what happened, but this time it worked. All right. You are close enough that you might be able to do some exploration for me. Okay, we found some more components. You, I've already queued up movements, so you should be fine. Platy, let's explore over here real quick. Okay, found some valuable parts. They're very dangerous, but you can drop them off at the outpost. Let's explore up over here next. Okay, we found what looks like some cockroaches. Literally cockroaches. Oh, good. A food source. <laughs> Joy. I feel so excited by this. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just keep sending you home. I guess you could grab some fibers from the motel. I mean, they're undefended. I don't know. I wish I could heal at outposts. I really do. I think that would make things a lot easier. This game isn't exactly supposed to be easy, so I'm not really complaining, but it would be a lot easier. How are we doing on nuclear storage? Still doing just fine, only 45% capacity taken up. So I guess we could speed up the trade routes if we assigned more people to work here. That seems to be what's going on, using up my excess fiber. Hmm. 
Yeah. We'll get 216. What would I want from New Haven? I wouldn't mind learning how to make peanuts, I guess, but we'll need a lot more reputation before I can make that work. And reputation, um, it looks like, does not transfer between towns. It is one town at a time, specifically. So it's actually worse than money, in the sense that it's not universally accepted. Everyone's got their own different reward point system. You know what I mean? Definitely can't afford to take any danger with you. You're not going to get the fun parts. You'll just die. Um, I guess you might as well go grab the components. You don't have action points anyway. Okay, she didn't blow up. That's great. Car. Why don't you come down over here? So how much fuel is this using up? Because I got 22 now. I have no idea. I'm not sure how that worked. Well, let's go ahead and drop off the goods. And start heading over this direction. So there's 90. I want to see, like, as I move the car, am I using up fuel every turn? Go gather cockroaches, I guess. It's technically free food. I don't think anyone's going to particularly like it, but we can do it. Still growing the mealworms. They grow very slowly, it appears. Okay. So I can pull you off. And it's just like farms, we don't need to keep people monitoring them. The only difference is it's a farm that costs me uh, energy. Hmm. I'm not sure how good the insect farms are, really. How are we doing in terms of energy storage? Pretty good? Um, I think we need more power generation. So another solar panel, basically. Can place one back here. That seems fine. It's blocked by a rock, but whatever. Shut up. Works fine. Why is this saying... So I like how this outpost is telling me what, like, it has. But I'll bet you we need carriers to actually withdraw stuff from the outpost. I'll bet you. Like, it's in the stockpile, but no one's, like, picking up the goods and taking them to my actual storage sites. Fascinating. Gather the last of the cockroaches. You go grab some antibiotics. You keep limping home. Uh, I feel like we didn't want to go through there. I don't think these guys still attack me, but I feel like that wasn't what we wanted to do. Alright, let's do some more exploration. We found some dangerous bandits with a lot of food. Can you explore in a car? No, you cannot explore in a car. So, we would have to then move over here. Okay, I guess we just took her out of the car. And once you get out of the car, you lose all of your action points. So, cars are really only good from getting a group of people out into a faraway area, and then they all just split off and do their own thing and then gather up again. Or, maybe putting together a raiding party to go and attack um, some strong bandit camps. I guess. That sounds like what is supposed to happen. Still feels a little weird, though, no? I mean, I would, th I would think that you can explore fine in the car. I would hope you can. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so the large solar panel will be done soon. This should provide plenty more power for me. So now we're producing 24. Consuming 24, producing 48. Sorry. So we're building up our storage pretty nicely. Um, yeah, fortunately, walking into a dangerous territory doesn't result in taking damage per turn, so you're okay. You, I guess, will just go and explore. You go down over here. Now, you have a lot of action points, because you're an explorer anyway. Found crumbling houses with a lot more cockroaches. Ah, gross! You find a crumbling house, and you're sure to find cockroaches. That's real gross. Alright, so he's got a bunch in his pocket. I want to know how he's carrying around all the cockroaches. That means he sat around, gathering up cockroaches one by one, and putting them in his pocket, and now he's got to walk back to the outpost with, like, crawling, wriggling clothes. That's disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't like it. How are we doing in terms of capacity? We're getting close to capacity. Let's just go ahead and build another tenement. Do I need it right now? No, not at all. Do I care? No, not at all. 
I'm just gonna build a dang thing, dang it. Because I can't. Well, that's fun. The game crashed on me. And right when I was about to add some new patrons into the video, how unfortunate. More unfortunate, though, uh, I can't seem to get past this loading screen. This appears to be a known bug in Surviving the Aftermath, where uh, if you've played for a few hours and you save and you try to load, it never gets past the splash screen. Incredibly disappointing. Okay, well, I guess that means we lose yet another colony. Um... <laughs> Wait, wait, no, never mind, never mind, scratch that. I just tried loading it a second time, and this time it actually loaded. So, I guess it sometimes works, and then it sometimes doesn't. Okay, so I, as I said, I was actually about to, I was about to add in some patrons to the, uh, to the video. Um, who we, who we got? Uh, da, 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 da. there's gotta be people here. Wait, where are my people? Where are my... There's a, there's a child here. The child will do fine. Okay, we're gonna name you, um, LGA code... Kind of an odd name, but all right, let's go for that. And where's someone else? How about you, Henry? Get renamed to Red Velvet Kitty. Oh, just Red Velvet then. Sorry, it's a very cute name though. I like it. And then you, Daniel, get renamed to Verstein, I guess, or Verstein? I don't know, whatever you prefer. Okay, so the game does sort of work. It's just that gave me a heart attack. All right, well, we're not completely gone. That said, I do still need to ask the question. Do we continue with the series or no? Uh, it seems that people are enjoying it, and I certainly am too. It's basically post-apocalyptic banished, which is right up my alley, and the views are pretty good. On the other hand, I hadn't really planned on doing a long series, so I don't know. It's going to depend a lot on what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below if you do want me to continue playing, and if not, that's fine. I'll continue moving on to other games, and uh, we'll check back occasionally as Surviving the Aftermath continues its development. So I'm not going to call this the end of the series, because I don't know yet, but I'll, I'll look for your feedback down below. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.